Welcome Capricorn to your spiritual reading for June. I hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers. Anyone new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. These readings are done at the end of the month so that you can work on them during uh, the next month, which will be July next month. So, but that's how they are made. Okay, so Spirit wants you to understand infinite abundance. So this is a journey, so using the Sacred Traveler cards. Begin now, take your first step. And the overall outcome is hold the course, staying focused. And then your spiritual healing card is mental repetition, which we will get to at the end of the reading. Okay, so starting here, we have this blockage, and this is how to heal the blockage and, of course, the outcome. So the blockage here that's really going on is to understand that the universe has an infinite abundance for you at this time. And making sure that you understand that it is time for you to receive it, to open up to receive this abundance. Knowing that it is there, you need to reach out and grab it. Okay, so the Sacred Traveler wants you to know that everything is blossoming and bearing fruit right now before your eyes. Open yourself up to receive it. The prosperity you seek is being activated. A stream of abundance is in the areas of your life, is ready to flow into your life. You just need to take the action in the direction of receiving it and the dreams that you need. Okay, so it is activated now and this is why it says straight up, right? Begin now, Capricorn. It is time. Take your first step towards this infinite abundance, right? So taking your first step. So you're going to go over here. They're like, you know, hey, you know, got this cloth going on. Look at all this fruit that we have going on. And you're saying, I want that fruit. <laughs> I'm going to take that fruit. But to get this fruit, I'm going to have to take this path. And to take this path, I'm going to hold this course, right? So it's going to take, it's going to take some time before you really open up to really do that. And that's why we have the mental repetition to make sure that you are really staying focused, um, on, um, positive thinking, positive law and attraction. Okay. So with the infinite abundance over here, spirit says, get ready. Let's go get it. You want it? Let's get it. It's right before your fingertips, right? Be the emperor. Take the power. Take the control that you have within yourself. You are the emperor. Yes, absolutely. Look at that. Some of you might even have an inheritance coming in. Just saying, I, I see it. Um, you might not know it, but you need to stay focused on the course because uh, if you know that you already got an inheritance, you don't want to blow that inheritance. You want to make sure that you're using it for the in, um, in you know, the abundance that you need and making sure that it works the way you need to make it work, right? Without just blowing it all. Um, but yes, it does feel like there is something big coming your way with the Ace of Wands for the perfect timing. But there is a perfect timing involved in this situation and this is why you need to stay focused. So it feels like whatever Spirit is trying to tell you that this is happening and this is going to happen and you need to stay focused to get this, um, it, this is going to be one of those things that's going to take time. Um, it could come within cancer season. Um, it could come after cancer season. Um, you know, however it is, but there is a perfect timing that Spirit has this for you as soon as you realize that you are the emperor and really taking on those emperor moves and emperor modes, right? Really staying in control and power of your law and attraction and the way you're doing things. Okay. So beginning now, taking your first step. So you're going over here. You're like, yeah, I got this, right? Got this. Now we're going over here for justice. This is justified through, wow, look at all these, like... <laughs> Yeah, Spirit is letting you know that this is law and attraction. This is karmic. This is something that is a karmic reward for you. So you really need to stay focused so that you can get your karmic rewards. Um, this is not just happening because um, I think you're nice. Okay. Spirit doesn't do that. Okay. Um, because I think you were strong in the past and you so deserve this. No. It's a give and take relation. It's a give and take relationship with the universe. You give to the universe and you receive back. So it does feel like there's a lot of angel points coming back at you, and it is time for you to have your justice. Let's 
it's time for your happiness, um, maybe money. Abundance comes in many different things. So, you know, if you're just looking to win the lottery, um, I wouldn't be expecting that. Okay. I will let you know that right away. Spirit guys always like that is just not going to probably happen. That's one out of 10,000 people. You know what I mean? You put 10,000 people together and you might not still have one of them win the lottery. That's how small the average that is. Um, so if you're looking for something like that, that's probably not going to be it. For some of you, it could be, right? I'm not going to just like say no, but I'm just saying usually with justification and angel awards, it's things that you're looking for, things that the universe wants you to have, um, the things, you know, that is good for you. Okay. So this is to completely justified by Lady Karma. Because you have the Wheel of Fortune coming in. Boom. That's divinely done. This is fated to happen. You need to... Because it's divinely done and it's like on this destiny path to happen. And for some of you, it's fated that you actually... If it's an inheritance, you're fated to have this inheritance because it's already been done by the person. So it's already in fate's hands. Um, so you just want to make sure that you're, like I said, focused on how you're going to spend that and what you're going to do with that to make sure that it stays in the abundance, right? That you're making all the good choices, um, fair choices, right, for yourself. Making sure that it stays balanced. For others of you, it's the will of fortune. This is destined to happen as long as you keep on the destined path because you are on the destined path. So, it, you know, hold the course. Hold this course. Do not, because now is not the time to go do something erratic. Right now, right now is the time to continue on the path of what you're doing so that you know where you're going and what you're doing. Three of Wands, you, there's something going on. You've probably visualized this. Um, you have something going on to where you might have even dreamed that this happened. You might even be seeing it. If you're clairvoyant, you may know it, um, that it's coming. Maybe you just don't know exactly how to take it. Like, I see it, but I don't know how to make it real, right? Um, and this is actually showing you how. This is telling you just take those steps. Follow this path as the path for you. Now you're going to hold that course. So staying focused, holding the course with the positive attitudes and knowing where you're going and what you're doing to get to this, this abundance over here that is waiting for you around the corner. Depression. Watch your sadness. Do not, you know, don't allow other people to get you down because you do have the Ace of Cups coming. So whatever you were down about... <laughs> I, I don't know. I see this person around you who could, you have, could have this depressed person around you. You could have been in a depression mode. We're going to stay focused to stay away from that so that we know that we're getting our cups overfilled. That way we know where we are, what we need to do, and becoming whole within ourselves. King of Cups. This is going to keep you perceiving and knowing exactly where you are, who you are, and what is for you. The King of Cups knows Everything, right? All kings know something. Um, and this king knows intuition. This king knows unity. This king knows all of the compassions, all of the passion, compassion, unity, um, creativity, and intuition. Bam. Powerful, right? And you might even, um, if you feel like this is a person you're trying to get to, it could be a Pisces that you're trying to get to or another water sign. They're perceiving the same thing in some ways that you are. This is why, because they're coming next to the Wheel of Fortune, so they may be law attracting you as well as you law attracting them, which would be a divine thing. And here you come in your own, look at that, coming up in your own energy over here, saying, this is something that I really want. This is something that I deserve. Um, and the universe is saying the same thing. Keep in your own energy over here, Capricorn. Do not allow anyone to take you away from the firm, stable place that you are. You're a firm, stable person who knows exactly what they want. It doesn't matter if it's money. It doesn't matter if it's material. It, you know what I mean? Because that's what it is. But that's your energy. Um, and keep nurturing yourself and keep grounding yourself. Um, you're an earth sign, so you want to keep yourself as grounded to the earth as possible. Do not allow yourself to flutter away. <laughs> There's no reason, right, to be fluttering away into space, into outer space, or having somebody else bring you to outer space with them. Um, just keep yourself very grounded so that you know you are on the right path um, to where you need to be. 
okay? No mixed emotions, right? And that will help you hold the course. That's the point. That's, that's the point to holding the course. The holding your course is really in that energy of yourself, right? Keep your hooves on the ground, guys. And that's from one earth sign to the next, one hoof to the other hoof. Because I'm Taurus, so that's, that's, you know, keep our hooves on the ground. And then you have the mental repetition over here. And this is just remembering that you keep telling yourself, I am good. I do deserve. I do deserve what I deserve. I've done good. I'm no, you know, no better or no less than anyone else. Usually when it comes to these kind of things, though, since it's a healing card, it's usually not even about being better. You know, it's, it's when you're thinking about these things, because mostly it's, I'm not good enough, right? I'm not as good as, you know, Sheila over here. Sheila is like awesome. And I'm not as good as awesome. No, you keep telling yourself, I'm as good as Sheila. If Sheila has, you know, a BMW, I can have a BMW too one day. I just have to put in the work, stay focused, keep going strong, do what I need to do, and I can have the same thing Sheila does because Sheila doesn't really, it's not like she's like a millionaire, right? So, and, you know, and just remember that you have things and the universe wants to give them to you. Keep the mental repetition of positive things going so you can get that chariot going with law and attraction, okay? And keep visualizing the things that you want so that way you can just continue to keep going strong because the universe is on your side, Wheel of Fortune is open, and you're ready. And that's what it's saying, you're ready. So it's now your turn though to take, you have to take the step though. It's not something that's just gonna fall into your lap. Except for the only problem that I have that it is, is this inheritance. I I have to say this though, because with an inheritance, it will drop in your lap. I think with this one, it's just making sure that you don't, if it's a lot of money, my friends, don't go blowing it, right? Because then you're going to end up right back where you started from, right? And you don't want to do that. So that's the only one that I'm really worried about, about you not really having to put any real, you know, action or anything into it. Um, so more than that, it's just keeping yourself justified and not, you know, like I said, blowing a whole wad somewhere, right? Making sure that you, um, have that for yourself for backup or, you know what I mean? Doing things like this, if it's money, right? Okay, my friends, and that was it for you. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.